thought they were they overlooked the fact that they didn't punish the bottom side, but man, they have a plan, and here we go. Oh, the plan is go in. Pendragon getting caught high is able to back away with a BMI. Pendragon with the Abyssum Strike. Oh my goodness, he finds the pick off onto highs. Such a gin against two members, able to go for the base right base? now. His objective here in Half Sword by the time clearing it out. A 2 0 dominant performance by the Tigers. And they managed to dismantle Rebellion Zion in the second game and make it close the series out with a 2 and 0 fashion. Evo's legends have done their job to potentially be the halftime champion of the playoffs, of the regular season right now. Perhaps wrong position here. High gets taken down for Hazel. We'll take a look at the Shards. Clover gets one. And now it seems like Evos, they are strong with five with oh. the help of that Call of Hunter. Facehugger. Facehugger. Beatrix, Beatrix. And take a look at Beatrix. No Kabuki. way! He will get the shot again as Kabuki will claim the last game. It's a deja vu. Kabuki did it in the first half. He now does it again in the second half. Man, it's beautiful to watch. I thought for a second that hi, Godiva, it's a blunder by them. Facehugger made an amazing play by getting all the Cult Ultra HP down, but I didn't notice it until the final moment. Kabuki, it turns out he was in the base. He was walking down in the mid lane, and he always finds these little holes in the enemy team's play to actually go for that. You can see it right here. The backdoor trauma from Kabuki. Comes back again to haunt Evo's legends. Wow, this guy, I'm quite wow. speechless. Wow, wow, wow. First half, he does it. He does it against he every team. He does it again. Seems like, for now, no team has any answer to this guy, Kabuki. I mean, if we don't notice it when we're on the caster desk, can you imagine the players looking at the items, thinking about the flicker times, thinking about the distance management between the characters? How can they even notice it when he, it's so subtle? That is, oh my god, I can't believe it. They get an alpha going for the end right here. Feather airstrike gets popped open. Yeah, Baser, the bottom side will fall. Take a look at the front side. Oh, Max finds oh one. The pet dragon is the capital team. More key. Dreams will fall as well. And this is not looking good as Evos Legends will fall to the seventh place. Bigatron Alpha claiming 2 and 0. This is a disaster for Evos, man. Saying they are ready for the playoffs. And Evos Legends. They needed to regroup one more match against of, ahead of them. That's not going to be an easy challenge against RRQ. You got to really feel for the members of EVO's Legends, man. They're under so much strain, so much, so much pressure to come back. What we a moment. Had doubts. Oh, Repo. Oh. M1. Oh, no. oh, ding, 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 ding. It's a cat. God. It's not a tiger. It's a cat. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Meow. No way. Oh my god. Oh my Repo god. Repo dub taunts there. Let's see. Three base turrets taken down. That's gonna be actually the Zaman Force. Popped in. Finn goes in. Able to find Sun Jin. Ben Dragon again going in. Dreams trying to go for the Miracle Play. Glover cannot do anything. It's an absolute disaster. All RQ secure upper brackets. They also knock their bitter rivals down to the ground, pounding them. No mercy. Evos, a new page in their history books. No playoffs for Evos Legends. Is this confirmed? This is confirmed. Zero percent chance to playoffs. No, I don't believe you. No way. Uh, no way. Come on. Ten seasons of MPL ID Season 10 and EVO's Legends don't make it to the playoffs? You've got to be lying to me, right? How, how the mighty have fallen. This They're is a done. somber day for <laughs> EVO's Legends, man. RRQ, they're triumphant, but you have to feel for their opponents. EVO's Legends, they tried their best. They made it close, but in the end, it doesn't even matter.